Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be tying a fly called the prom dress. It's a fly that is mainly made of flashaboo, as well as a few other materials, and it's pretty simple to tie. It is an effective fly for steelhead as well as trout in smaller sizes. So in the vise, I have a 40 millimeter shank as well as a size four swing hook. Today I'm also gonna be using some size large dumbbell eyes in nickel. Now I'm going to take some size small copper wire and tie it in on the underside of the body. Now I'm going to tie in some gold and silver tinsel gold side down. Now I'm going to use the rotary feature of my vise and wrap this tinsel up the body. Now I'm going to take my copper wire and counter rib up the body. Now I'm going to make a dubbing loop, and then I'm going to use some Eat a Peach Fusion Dub. So I'm going to take a, a solid clump of this stuff, put it in the loop, and spin it up to create a large dubbing bowl. So now I'm going to take some fire orange arctic fox fur and create a prop for my flashaboo. So I'm going to lay this out just so that the tips of these fibers are going to the eye of my hook. I'm gonna tie these in with a few loose wraps and spread it out just over the top half of the shank. Next, I'm gonna put a few more tight wraps Now I'm going to push back the butts of these arctic fox fibers and tie in front of them. Next I'm going to repeat the same steps on the bottom of the shank. So again, take a clump of arctic fox. I'm going to brush out the under fur. And I'm going to tie it in exactly the same way. As you can see, this makes a pretty big prop, and this will create a kind of teardrop shape with the flashaboo. So next, I'm gonna take some copper flashaboo, and I'm gonna cut off about 20 or so 
fibers. Next, it helps to wet these fibers to make sure they stick together. And I'm going to fold them over in half in my hands. At the top of this loop, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it in half. I wet these fibers again and hold them all together in my hand. I'm going to measure these fibers out just so that they are reaching the end of this hook. So now I'm going to spread these fibers out and I'm going to tie them in. Once I've secured them in, I'm going to fold back the tags and take a few more securing wraps. And I'm going to repeat the same steps all around the fly, just so that the entire thing is covered. Alright, so now this fly is completely covered in flashaboo. I'm going to come in here with some black ostrich feathers. So with this, I'm going to measure it out about the same length as the flashaboo. I'm going to cut off about 8 to 10 fibers. So I'm going to tie these in as a wing over the fly. I'm going to do a collar with some of this strung saddle hackle. And I'm going to find a more webby feather that will finish the head of this fly. And I'll prepare it by pulling all the fibers back, except for a few at the tip. And then stripping out some of these fluffy fibers at the bottom. Tie this in by the tip. I'm going to fold back the tip just so the feather doesn't slip out. Next, I'll clip it out. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers and secure it to the stem of the feather. And lastly, I'll fold the feather back with my scissors. Push all the fibers back and wrap forward. So I'm going to take a pinch of this Senyo's Fusion Dub in Midnight. I'm going to dub it onto my thread. I'm going to take a few wraps just to clean up the head of this fly. And I'm going to whip finish this fly. Again, like usual, two whip finishes. I'm going to take a bit of head cement. Apply it to a bodkin. And then dab it onto the head of this fly. And there you go, there's a prom dress.
For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as leave a like and drop a comment and let me know what flies you'd like to see me tie next. Thank you for watching.